Welcome back to the Denver Broncos franchise. We start off the episode by upgrading our breakout star tight end, Noah Fon. He's up to a 77 overall, upgrading his vertical threat. He has been an extremely critical part of our offense this year. And then we re-signed some players. We got Andre Holmes onto a one-year $3.17 million contract. And then Devontae Booker says he wants to test out the free agency waters. We will re-sign Tim Patrick to a $1.48 million contract over one year. And then Deshaun Williams will also be re-signing with us. The last guy to re we'll re signing would be DeMonte Thomas, the free safety. And this week we'll be taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Obviously, they have Harrison Smith and Adam Thielen. Adam Thielen, one of the best receivers in the league, so is Stefan Diggs. And then Smith, one of the best safeties in the league, along with Daniel Hunter. Well, let's get to some football, folks. Welcome to U.S. Bank Stadium, the home of Super Bowl 52 and the everyday home of the Minnesota Vikings. We welcome you here to a Week 11 matchup between the Minnesota Vikings and the Denver Broncos here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. This should be a pretty interesting matchup as both of these teams are fighting for one last little hope. As if neither of these teams loses, their hopes of the playoffs are pretty much over. As the Vikings come in with seven losses, the Broncos come in with six losses. And this is basically just a fight for survival. Whoever loses this game is basically out of playoff contention. So let's get to some football. Kirk Cousins and his Vikings. The Purple Rain trying to defeat the Denver Broncos here at home in Week 11. We have the ball teed up, and Brandon McManus will kick this baby off. We're underway here from U.S. Bank Stadium. The return man will take a knee in his own end zone, and that's how this ball game will start. As the Vikings start out with it, we'll see Kirk Cousins, a former quarterback from Michigan State. He's had a really pretty solid career, but this year he has played absolutely terrible football, throwing 16 touchdowns and 13 interceptions. That's one of the reasons why they have seven losses right now. Out onto the field here will be Cousins on second and 13. He drops back in the pocket. Von Miller, our X-Factor superstar, sacks him on the play on the very second play from scrimmage. What a job there for Miller to rush the quarterback. And then on third and 21, it's going to be a play fake to Dalvin Cook. And there's Miller one more time. Two sacks on three plays and a three and out for the Vikings. It's a pretty nice start of the day for the Bronco defense. Now we'll see Drew Locke in this offense here out onto the field. Locke has been very shaky at times this season, but he's really steadied his play the last couple of weeks. As this week, he hopes to have another good performance. Wearing that trademark white shooter sleeve on his right arm. He'll land it off to Phillip Lindsay here on first and 10. Lindsay jukes a man out of his shoes there, but he only gets eight yards on the carry. Second and two, Locke drops back in the pocket. He's going to float one over the middle. That's to Noah Font. His favorite target this year has been Noah Font. That breakout star, like I said before, has had an incredible season with the Broncos as we like to expand his role even more next season. Locke will give an outside carry here to Phillip Lindsay on first and 10. Lindsay will dive forward, but he can only get nine yards in the carry. So it'll be second and short now. Third and three after the sack here. As in the diamond package, Locke will drop back. He's going to dump this one off over towards Phillip Lindsay. He gets pummeled by Harrison Smith. And this ball's going to be recovered by Trey Waynes. Trey Waynes, nobody's in front of him. And that's going to be a scoop and score touchdown for the Vikings. Seven to nothing. Minnesota will take the lead. Harrison Smith popped the ball free from Phillip Lindsay. And Trey Waynes took it the distance to the house. So here's Locke on the ensuing possession here. Third and 18 for Locke. He drops back and he'll fire this one deep to Emmanuel Sanders and somehow he comes down with it. The veteran receiver has been making catches like that all season long as he's had an incredible year so far this year. Locke then on second and five. Floats one over the middle and Noah Font bails him out yet again. What a catch in traffic there. A one-handed grab for Noah Font. A 31-yard touchdown for the Broncos. So it's 7-7, to seven, we're all tied up. Here's a little screen pass to Adam Thielen on first and 10, and Thielen gets up the sideline for 12 yards and a first down. Second and one for the Vikings. Little play fake to Dalvin Cook. Cousins steps back in the pocket, he'll fire it over the middle. That's going to be to the first down for Treadwell, the former Ole Miss receiver. He's had a really good rookie season, and he hopes to expand on that this season. And as Dalvin Cook is going to be denied to the first down, it'll be fourth and one, and I stop there from Josie Jewell. Here's the kick, and it's going to be blocked by Isaac Yadam. The ball is then kicked, but it can't be scooped up by the Broncos. It'll be recovered by Minnesota, but it'll still be Bronco football after the block kick from Isaac Yadam. First and 10 for Locke. It's going to be a hand up up the middle to Philip Lindsay, as Lindsay gets a solid gain of about 11 on the carry right there. 42 yards in the first half so far for Philip Lindsay. Third and 11 now for Locke. Steps back in the pocket as all day. He'll fire it into coverage. Lucky that pass wasn't intercepted. I believe that was Anthony Barr with the deflection. 
And then on 4th and 11, here's the 59-yarder. This kick is up, and it is well short and no good. He had the distance, or he didn't have the leg for it, but he did have pretty good accuracy on that one. Just didn't have a leg for it. So 7 minutes to play in the first half. Cousins steps back on 1st and 10. He'll fire it over the middle towards Laquan Treadwell, and he gets a 1st down there after a really good completion there from Cousins. These short little checkdowns have worked really well for Cousins so far today. As on third and five, Dalvin Cook's going to be knocked out of the first down. He only gets a couple yards there, as it'll be fourth and four, and the Vikings will attack on a field goal. So ten to seven, the Minnesota Vikings lead here as the lock drops back on second and nine. He'll fire it to Emmanuel Sanders, and Sanders is going to be ripped down by his face mask. So that's going to be an extra 15 yards to the already, I believe, 25-yard pass. So really nice gain of yardage right there for the Broncos. Lock on first and 10 is going to step up in the pocket. He's going to slide for the first down there as he gets a little 15-yard run in right there. A nice smart play from Lock to slide down while also using his legs for the first down. First and 10, Lock rolls out here as he rolls out right of the pocket. He's going to scramble and get just near the first down, but not exactly the first down. So it's going to be second and inches there. And then after an incompletion, it's third and one. Handing it off to Lindsay. He gets blown up at the line, and it's going to be fourth down. So the Broncos will have to settle for a field goal here. Really nice job there from the captain, Anthony Barr. He's had a pretty good season so far, leading this defense. As on first and 19, after the holding penalty, there goes Adam Thielen down the sideline, and he is gone. Touchdown, Vikings. They take back the lead here. Adam Thielen, 61 yards off of a little curl route, so it's 17-10 Minnesota leads. Dropping back on first and 10 is Cousins. Has all day in the pocket. Surveys the field. He'll fire it over to a wide open Kyle Rudolph. And there will be 16 seconds left. The Vikings will call their last timeout. Second and eight. It's going to be an I-formation look. They're going to get somehow, or for some reason, they're going to go for it on second and eight. He's going to fire towards the sideline. It's caught, but he's not going to get out of bounds. The time is going to run out here, and that will be the end of the first half. Absolutely terrible clock management there by the Minnesota Vikings. They had a chance to tack on a field goal and go up by two possessions, but instead they kept the ball in bounds. They fired it over towards David Morgan, the tight end, and they will get no points on that last drive in the first half. On to the halftime report. We look at some scores around the league. The Falcons taking on, or the struggling Falcons taking on the Panthers. This is tied up game going into the halftime, seven to seven. Both teams are even. And then we send it out to. Michigan as Detroit Lions will be taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys only 2-7 and seven on the year, but they're up 21-7 against the Lions. Prescott playing pretty good football, 147 yards and a touchdown in the first half there. Then we move down to Indianapolis, Indiana as the Colts will be taking on the Jaguars. 8-1 and one are the Colts as they're up 28-0 over the Jags and AFC South of below out there as Andrew looks at a heck of a season so far. So he's really looking to lead his Colts. Far in the playoffs this year as we head to some second half action now. The Broncos will start with it here in the second half. Third and eight for Denver as Locke drops back in the pocket. He's going to fire it over towards Noah Font. What a great pass right there from Locke. Surveyed the field, saw an open man, set his feet with pressure coming, and still made a great pass. Locke has had an incredible afternoon so far. As then on third and one, he rolls out left, and there's nobody on that side of the field. He's going to get the first down with his legs there. He has almost 40 yards rushing so far in the day. Second and eight for Drew Locke. Steps back in the pocket. He lobs this one deep downfield to Emmanuel Sanders, and he comes down with it. What a catch by Emmanuel Sanders as he leaped up and made a play over Eric Kendricks, the middle linebacker, playing in deep coverage. It's a great play. A great read from Locke to recognize that his star receiver's going up against the middle linebacker and puts it exactly where he needs it. Dama Cook picks up the first down there with his legs, and that's going to be a first down for the Vikings. Ball at the 27 now on first and 10. Dropping back as Cousins, he fires a short to Laquan Treadwell. And Treadwell loses the football. It's quickly scooped up and recovered, though, by Adam Thielen. So then on third and 12, Cousins rolls out left. Fires it over the middle to Thielen. He's immediately eaten up. I believe that was Chris Harris. No, that's actually not. Uh, I believe that's Sua Cravens with the tackle there. So the Vikings stack on a field goal. They're up 20 to 17. There goes Philip Lindsay on the run. See you later as he gets a big run right there. A 55 yarder to the house. And just like that, the Bro or 65 yarder. And just like that, the Broncos are back on top. 24 to 20. They now lead. Third and 16 for the Vikings. It's gonna be hand off to Dalvin Cook up the middle. Cook is going nowhere. He gets a solid gain there, but he needed 16 on the play. So it's fourth down and the Vikings off the punt. Eight minutes to go in the ball game now. Locke drops back in the pocket. He is going to be sacked on the play. That's Daniil Hunter with the pressure and the sack. So it'll be a three and out for the Broncos. He's off to punt the football back. 
Cousins over the middle here, and the ball's going to be popped free. Adam Thielen fumbled it. It's recovered by Chris Harris, and he'll go out of bounds at around the 35-yard line. What a play right there by the Broncos' defense, creating a turnover. 5.30 to go in the fourth quarter. Lock on third and eight. Runs up the middle for the first down. A extremely smart play that Lock has been making in this game. He just has not been making these types of plays all season long. It's like it comes and goes this year. And then a fire over the middle. A risky pass to Deshaun Hamilton. And he comes down with it for a Bronco touchdown. Floats that one into double coverage. And Deshaun Hamilton makes a play on it. It's 31-20. to 20. The Broncos now lead. And then on third and one, it's a little curl route to Adam Thielen. We have not been able to guard that all night long. Will Parks will push Thielen out at around the 43-yard line. On, so we move ahead here in the ballgame. 4.20 to go in the fourth quarter. Can the Vikings make a comeback? They're down by two possessions. Cousins under center here on first and ten. He steps back in the pocket. Fires it over towards Stefan Diggs. And that ball's going to be coughed up. It's recovered by Willie Parks. And the Broncos are back in business. Are you kidding me? A couple of costly fumbles by Vikings receivers have really screwed them over today. Handed off to Philip Lindsay on second and seven. He runs up the middle for a big first down. And just like that, the Broncos continue to run the football effectively today. Lindsay has over 150 running rushing yards on the afternoon. As then on third and 14, Locke will roll out right. Fires a deep down field. That pass is intercepted, or was it? Xavier Rhodes only got one foot down, so it's just going to be an incompletion. They'll try the 60-yarder here from midfield. Brandon McManus, the kick is up, and he got it. Somehow, someway, he missed the 40 or the 59-yarder earlier and somehow makes the one even longer. What a kick there. So we're up 34-20 to 20 now. Von Miller brings pressure. Cousins is flushed, and he fires it to Josie Jewell. The middle linebacker makes an incredible play, and that just may be your ball game as he picks that pass off. And the Broncos may have just iced this one. First and 10, a minute 40 to go in the game. We'll hand it off to Philip Lindsay to the outside. He's going to get popped by Harrison Smith, and the ball is jarred loose. It's going to be recovered by the Vikings. And he says one's going to be returnable down around the 40-yard line. And just like that, the Vikings say we're not out of it just yet. To one timeout to go here in the ballgame. Third and inches with 1.11 to go. Kirk Cousins lobs this one deep downfield. And oh my goodness, Jackson got absolutely mossed there by Adam Phelan, who makes up for a couple of drops earlier in the game. And then he'll fire it to the tight end, Kyle Rudolph. And Rudolph goes out of bounds at the five, so the clock stops. And now they have the ball at the five yard line with 43 seconds to go in the ball game. First and goal for Cousins. What can he do here? Drops back in the pocket, steps up, fires it, and it's a one handed catch from Laquan Treadwell. Touchdown Vikings. It's now just a one score game, and they're right back in this one. So here's the onside kick to try to decide this one. If they recover, that's still a ball game. If the Broncos recover, this one's over. And it's going to be recovered by Deshaun Hamilton. And this one is officially on ice. As the Denver Broncos storm into Minneapolis. And we will defeat the Minnesota Vikings here in Week 11. A big win for the Broncos as we have struggled at times this season in late game situations. As a very upsetting loss there from Mike Zimmer and his team. We'll be taking on the Bills next week in Week number 12. So we improve to 3-6-1 and one on the season. The Vikings will fall to, I believe, 2-8 and eight on the year as they have had a pretty rough season as their playoff hopes are officially over. Even if we do win out, it's going to be pretty hard for us to make the playoffs because the Chargers have played so good this season. And the AFC is just such a competitive conference this season. To make the playoffs, we pretty much just have to have the Chargers lose a ton. But beating the Bills next week would definitely be a nice start for us to try to make the playoffs. Looking at the team, 193 yards and three touchdowns in his incredible performance and a great win for him. Kirk Cousins also had a great game, throwing for two, 352 yards and two touchdowns. That one pick did definitely hurt him. Nice game from Josie Jewell with an interception and a forced fumble. That'll be all here for the Denver Broncos franchise. If you guys did enjoy, like always, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. One last little thing at the end of the episode, we would be upgrading our center, Dalton Risner, as we upgrade his power blocking. And that'll be all here for the Denver Broncos franchise. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.